Let's first bring you up to speed with the investigation so far in the Mumbai terror attacks. Raids have been carried out almost across the country on suspected Indian Mujahideen terrorists. Mumbai, Pune, Ahmedabad, Patna, Kolkata, Ajmer, Bangalore, several places, several suspects have been picked up for questioning. But a week after serial bomb blasts ripped through Mumbai, the attackers elude the investigators. There is anger across Maximum City at the tardy pace of the, pro of the probe. Police claim they are on the job but concede they are nowhere close to a breakthrough. Maharashtra Police Anti-Terror Squad believes that the attack was carried out by at least six new recruits, possibly of the Indian Mujahideen terrorist organization. The needle of suspicion on the IAM. Investigators are still not sure which terror module was responsible for these attacks. The agencies also suspect the bomb planters may have links with IM operatives in Gujarat and Bengal. Now that investigation is progressing, we are very happy about the investigation. I cannot divulge anything at this moment. And they, all these organizations under these are constantly watched by I the Ministry of Home Affairs. No, I made it absolutely clear in the beginning that, uh, that the investigation is progressing. We are very happy about the investigation. But at the moment, I cannot uh, I mean, make any blame on any particular organization. Thank you. Investigators say at least 2 to 5 kgs of explosive material was used at each of the three locations. Forensic experts are also trying to figure out the exact type of detonators used to trigger the explosives made out of ammonium nitrate, fuel oil and ball bearings. Meanwhile, a sketch of the Zaveri Bazaar suspect has been given but it's not been put out in public domain. It's only been given to the core investigation team now this comprises officers of the anti-terror squad of the mumbai police and mumbai police crime branch investigators have also approached a local film lab to enhance the cctv footage now these images are said to be rather grainy targeted multiple times mumbai now plans a london type ring of cctv cameras to keep an eye on all developments at crucial places for State Chief Minister Prithviraj Chavan, this is the biggest challenge so far. He says his home department is in touch with Scotland Yard for better training of Mumbai police personnel. Maharashtra ATS teams have gone to Gujarat, Karnatak, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bengal and even the national capital, Delhi. But we are in touch. There are so many agencies out there, they are in touch and they are working on it. Okay, sir. That's right. Now, we, I don't want to disclose all the things here. Even, uh, we are uh, uh, questioning some of the things here. Let you know if there is any use in it. And joining me now is headlines today is Kamlesh Sutar from Zaveri Bazaar, Pankaj Upadhyay from the Opera House, both the places that were attacked on the 13th of July. Kamlesh Sutar, I'm coming to you first. Zaveri Bazaar has been targeted again and again. This was the third attack on Zaveri Bazaar. What is it that the Mumbai police is now doing to ensure there is no fourth time? Uh, well, indeed, uh, Gaurav, we are standing at the place, Zaveri Bazaar, the place, the area that has always been under attack, always on the uh, terror radar. It's, the place has been attacked not once, not twice. Three times this place has seen terror attacks, terrorists uh, coming here with evil designs and always uh, uh, leaving this area with pain and grief. Every time though the area has come up, uh, uh, come up, uh, the, the area is always bustling. Even today, a week after the blast took place, this area is bustling. But uh, uh, behind me, as you can see, uh, they are uh, uh, giving obituary to those who have lost their lives. But the area, all the shops and establishments open here like always, like they were on last Wednesday. Uh, the, the demand that has been from the locals here, they've always been demanding of security. They've always demanded the police to get rid of hawkers and the illegal parking that is taking place every year. 